going to walk you through getting started with Lip Pro. From the initial unboxing all the way through tracking your first session. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. So we properly mounted the Lip Pro on the helmet. We're ready to go collect some data. And before we do that, we're going to press the button once. So that's it for the sync process. You've got your first session of data in the app. And now it's time to get out there and have some more fun. It's not exactly new technology. We've been seeing the Lit Pro setup for what's probably a couple years now. And for serious racers, it's understandable why you would want all of that data. But what about the average Joe? Could it really help us on or off the track for that matter? And priced at $500 or more US, if it can help us, is it really worth the money? Or should you spend your hard earned cash on something totally different. What's up everybody, I'm Mitch. Thanks for checking out another YouTube video on my Fit For Moto YouTube channel. In today's video, we're looking at the Lip Pro system. Now I took one for the team, picked up what they claim is their premium system, which is both the Lip Pro itself, as well as the premium polar watch that comes with it. I wanted to see if there's actually any functionality to these things, if there actually are any real benefits to them. So I'm gonna be your guinea pig, let's dig into it. Out of the box, it's not what I thought. Not only did it not look like the Lit Pro I've seen online, it didn't look anything like it. The watch was just a Polar watch. Sure, it's nice and all, but you could buy a Polar heart rate product and pair it separately if you wanted to. So if you have access to a better deal in the heart rate sensor area, get it instead, or if you already have a heart rate monitor, that can be used as well. Nonetheless, starting with the watch, it came with a Polar Vantage M Multisport watch. And it's actually a really great watch. With various options, I find myself using it for so much more than just my heart rate on the track. I use it to track my daily workouts, my activity levels, and most interestingly, my sleep patterns. The battery lasts forever, and as expected with Polar products, it works really well. Next up, the Lit Pro itself. So it came with the Sky Pro GPS receiver. This is really just a GPS device. It can be used for a multitude of things and not just motocross. Again, it didn't look like the one I saw online, but nonetheless, I figured it must work. It's lightweight, light enough actually that you'll never notice it on top of your helmet. And speaking of that, that's one place you can mount it. Although they do recommend mounting it on your front fender close to your number plate if there's a flat spot to put it on. Your helmet is also an alternate spot, but it does need to have a flat area to put the adhesive down so it doesn't go flying off. Make sure you clean that spot off well with some rubbing alcohol or something of that nature, and then peel back and stick the pads that it comes with. When I was installing it, I was a little hesitant because I thought it was just Velcro that was holding it on, but that's not the case. It comes with some sort of alien technology that holds it down incredibly well. To the point where, when I took it off my helmet, I actually thought I might break the adhesive strip right off. Once you have it mounted and turned on, pairing it with your first session is really easy. Push the button once to turn it on, allow it to do its boot up, and you'll see the blue light come on and stay on. That's the Bluetooth. And then the green light is the GPS light. It'll blink until it finds a GPS signal, and then it will just stay on steady green. Then, to start recording your first session, all you do is double tap the power button quickly and you'll notice that the log light will start blinking and you're set. It's recording your GPS position. Once you have a session recorded, looking at the data on the app is pretty straightforward as well. Now, to me, this is where this thing is actually really cool. So once you've got your data, you've synced it with your phone, synced it with that app, when you bring up the app, it's actually pretty cool what you can do. So just pull on your session, click on that, bring it up, it'll bring up a bunch of information and about your different laps, about that kind of stuff. And here's what I think is really, really neat. So let's just pick a lap. It'll have an overlay here. 
Now you can just go down to the settings and you can pick up what metrics it's actually showing you on the app. So acceleration, deceleration, the coast, the G-forces, anything like that. So let's say we're gonna look at deceleration. You just hit done and it'll pick up another overlay. Now, as far as I understand it, this is actually showing you your fastest lap. And what's really cool is that these little markers on the right-hand side of your screen, you can just grab one of those, drag it over, and it'll show you an overlap, your, your best lap versus whatever lap it is that you're actually pulling that data from. From there, you can zoom in on it and just hit that play button on the bottom there, and you'll start to just race yourself, which is actually really neat. So here I'm looking at deceleration. So as I'm coming out of the corner, the bigger the lines, the more deceleration I have, and then I hit that corner, I apex that little bit, and I'm off and riding again. So let's go back, let's pick another lap, and we'll look at some different metrics that we can look at here. So let's pick up acceleration and G-forces. Again, it'll just overlay it. It looks a little different this time, as you can see, and we'll pick, uh, let's say, lap five. So we're gonna overlay that on the lap five, and it looks a little messy with too much information on there, but nonetheless, you can just grab the lap, swipe it across again, and hit play. So there you go. So now I'm looking at the, the G-forces around the track. I think that's actually a pretty neat thing. Although G-forces, I'm not sure how much it's actually gonna help us get better or faster on the track or anything like that. But nonetheless, we'll go back down to our settings here. Let's pick uh, speed and actually let's pick speed and decelerate or sorry speed and coast i think that's pretty neat because if you can decide or if you can figure out where you're coasting on the track maybe that's a good thing but maybe you don't need to coast quite as much or maybe you need to coast more just to carry more momentum in the corners so we're going to pick up just the coast setting let's hit done let's see how that looks so there you go there's my fast lap hit start again and you can see where I'm coasting. What's really neat to me is that I'm coasting pretty much, knowing the track, I'm coasting pretty much on any one of the um, corners. Like as I'm coming into a corner, I'm coasting before I do any breaks or maybe I don't break at all, but I'm coasting, coming into them, uh, on the face of a jump, something like that. You can see where you're coasting. So maybe if you're not coasting enough coming into corners, maybe you're not setting yourself up properly. And I think that that is a really, really cool function of this app. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, so far, so good. Wow, science. Now, if you got the watch along with it, just follow the screen instructions and adding a new Lip Pro device and you're set. It is noticeable that when you're logging your training session, it has to be in mountain biking mode as an exercise. But once you go out and log a session, it'll show up on the app and track your heart rate along the way. This gives you a pretty good idea of where your fitness levels currently sit and if you need to improve. If your heart rate is redlining during the moto, you may need to increase your cardiovascular capacity. I have a free tool available to help you do that, which is linked below. I think this thing's actually pretty amazing. It gives you a ton of information both on and off the track. I think that's pretty cool. But now what? What are you actually going to do with all of that information? If you're looking to drop lap times, the information it provides is invaluable. By looking at the data and figuring out where you're slowing down too much, you'll be able to work on specific areas like a left-handed inside corner, for example. Or interestingly, you might think the fast line is on the inside, but the data and the timing shows you otherwise. It's really great for covering off your training and recovery. I'll dive into how to use the information the watch gives you in another video. But if you're serious about riding or even just want to become healthier, again, it's a now valuable tool. But if we're coming back to the original question, is it really worth the money? Well, I would say it depends on what you're gonna use it for. For the average guy who's not looking to get any better, he just wants to kind of go out, cruise around, maybe play in the dirt a little bit, Really, I mean, this might be kind of a neat tool to throw on and actually see your riding, your acceleration, deceleration, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty neat. But if you're not looking to greatly improve, I don't know, it seems to me like the novelty might wear off a little bit, at least for the price point that these things are at around 500 bucks US. If you're a serious racer, absolutely. I think between the two, you're getting a bunch of information that's gonna help you get better both on and off the track. So I tipped my hat 
to LitPro for a creative and innovative product. I think they actually done a pretty good job with this thing and it's surprisingly accurate, which I think is pretty cool. Now, that being said, if you do want to do an HD overlay, so you have your, like your GoPro footage or a drone or whatever, and then you have your metrics over top of that, so your lap thing on the side, your heart rate, et cetera, et cetera, you do need an iPad for that. So if you don't have an iPad, that's another, you know, five, 600 bucks that you're gonna have to cop up just to be able to put that overlay on if that's something that you're actually interested in. So that's important to note. Between the two, if I had to pick one, if I could only get one or the other and I couldn't get their premium package, honestly, I'd probably take the watch. And it's not because I think that there isn't a bunch of valuable information in this. My thing is that with the watch, it applies to all areas of your life. So recovery, training, it monitors everything. Polar actually does a really, really good job with their stuff. I mean, their app is really cool if you're not using it in one of their heart rate monitors already. I do recommend it, it's pretty neat. It even monitors your sleep patterns. It tells you how well you've rested. I mean, when you apply all that stuff to your training, to your riding, just to your daily lifestyle, it can make you a healthier person. So for me, wicked, wicked on the track, but this applies to more of your life in general. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you in some way. If so, smash that subscribe button for me. And also I will put a link below for both if you, the Lip Pro if you want to get one of these, but also my free tools and resources on how to increase your fitness. Uh, they're totally free. It's just stuff you can download. Uh, it took me a long time to make them. And I really do think that they help. Again, totally free. I, I don't ask anything for it. So go ahead and uh, click on that link if that's something that you're interested to. Anyway, that's it. That's the Lit Pro. Hope you guys stay safe, ride safe, and we'll see you in the next video.